All right, this is round two of our shadow game. This is reigning top seed and multiple first place finish BMT zero versus Dead Witch flying. Yeah, where's where's no HP? Uh, so Dead Witch opening, T set pass. Is that really a T set? There. Separated. Uh, yeah, draw for turn. Um. <laughs> yeah, Dead Witch is in, uh, Discord right now. Oh, yeah, he, dead, then, dead Witch forgot to draw for turn because Dead Witch is playing 2002. 2002. Do they even have Mirror Force in 2002? They had to, right? I don't yeah, think that's so. That's gotta be a card. Oh no. Not quite sure. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. I just want to make sure. Okay, they're both in the same room. We're good. We're good. Fog. Oh shit. That's a discard of Gravekeeper's Command. 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 Add Necro Valley. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, that's. Uh... <laughs> I think that would matter more on any other deck year other than 2002, which probably doesn't touch the graveyard as at all. much. I'm trying to think of cards that, like Monster Reborn. Monster, Monster Reborn, that's about it. Was Prem out? Like, this is actually just like three months of play. Was Call of the Haunted? <laughs> I, I don't know. Call, I don't think Call of the Haunted was a. Um. Thousand and two. Let me let me look it up. What? So what the happened? sets that were out in two thousand and two. Um, in the TCG. Oh, we got a normal summon of Great Keepers Descendant. Ah, I see. I'll just move this. Up. And Royal Tribute. Activate uh, Royal Tribute. No, not the Man Eater Bug. Mechanical Chaser, Sangan's relevant, but Necro are Valley. They gonna, are they gonna normal summon Man Eater Bug in attack position? Cyber Jar! Oh my god. <laughs> ah, these games are fire this week! <laughs> yeah, 2005 kinda hits. That is a shame. He just ripped like every power card in the game. He actually just ripped the entire kitchen sink. That's crazy. <laughs> Dark Hole, Delinquent Duo, Pot of Greed, Change of Heart. Like, he just ripped everything. That's insane. And then Commandment swings in for 16. Poggers, poggers. Oh yeah, and then the card gains 500 for Necro Valley. BMT set two, set three, pass turn. All right, all right. It's kind of a, huh? kind of a hard feel to beat, but also kind of a hard hand to beat. So, for the TCG, they had all the way up to, let's see, uh, release date, do do. they had all the way up until Pharaoh's Servant and Tournament Pack 2, and then the 2002 Collector's Day. Damn, that's crazy. And then the Eternal Duelist Soul promotional cards. Which I think is like DDS. Which really isn't relevant because it's like 
blue eyes, delinquent dark magician, duo. that kind of stuff. Delinquent duo off the top. Oh, the judgment. Probably spending more life points than that no, hand. No, Dead do. Witch got 2002. BMT got a different year. Like, looks like 2000, like. So far, the latest card that we've seen is Effect Veiler. So that's oh. like synchro era. Yeah, like, I think that's like 2010. Yes, that would be 2010 considering I could have played it. Activating I Dark Hole. All right. That's a power play. Giant Shrewdane, that's always good. Returning all the spells and traps, including Necro Valley. Yep. That's good. That's good. Where's the Pog of Greed? Why is Dead Witch not returning the uh, the set card? Uh, I think they might have gotten. Let me go tell them. That or Dead Witch. Yep. Some attack. The the set card on your yep. field. Huh? Oh yeah, uh, that returns. Yeah, with Giant Grenade. Yeah. Just wanted to maintain the game oh, state. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. It's a hand. Yep, they know. There we go. Okay. And then he's going to go for the Prem, bringing back the Sand Gan. Four. Tributing oh. the Sand Gan. Virginia! So big beefy boy, let's big go! Play, big, play, big place, big place, big place. Okay. Shout out to Logan JYA. Jinzo Collector Extraordinaire. He actually, he did a uh, video on his channel showing off his Jinzo collection. And he has like the mintiest MRD first Jinzo I have ever seen. Pod? Like, that shit is just chef's kiss. Swinging in for 24, Dead Witch might actually take this game one. Sets one. Set. How much you want to go play? ahead was book of moon up no. don't think so probably like yeah no book of moon was like pharaonic guardian reactivates the necro valley set one huh? set two if he doesn't find a monster i think bmt is dead <laughs> no this is where he's at spy it's like the only thing that gets bmt out of this is like mirror force or magic cylinder but those are going to be negated by Jinzo. This might be it. Let's Dead see. Witch Flying dreading going into this game because they got 2002, but instead they're just taking it with the power cards pre ban list. Like the first ban list was in December of 2002. You'll have to keep that in mind. It was it? Yeah. Oh. So Dead Witch could just play pre ban list. Oh, and then, of course, BMT has the book for the Jinzo. Damn. That's unfortunate. They can flip something still. <laughs> they do. They What's it in May? Second book. Oh. Oh. Alright. The next turn. Dead Witch taking a game off of BMT. Honestly, that looked very commanding. That was pretty good. The Gravekeepers kind of hit, though, so. I think the problem is they got matched up against 2002. Yeah. We're just like, you have Cyber Jar, you have Pot of Greed, Delinquent Duo, Graceful Charity, Heavy, tr um, Giant Trunade, um, Heavy Storm, Raigeki, all these super powerful cards. 
just at their disposal. Let's go. What we got? What we got? We got, uh, we got any uh, gamers out here? So what do you think is in the side decks of these players? Gores. Gores? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's like I very hard to like... tell like this early. Yeah. Right? BMT opting to go first. Rips the I Necro know, Valley. <laughs> Solid start. Solid start. Solid start indeed. However, it's too early for the... Necro Valley to Royal Tribute two games in a row? That's kind of harsh. That's a tomato. That is a tomato. Doesn't do anything. That also telegraphs that BMT doesn't have a monster. Yeah. Those are all solemn judgments. It's all four of them. BMT set one, passing it back. All right, all right. Forceful Sentry. That's uh, <laughs> Oh my that's God. A, that's a very um. What do they call it? Banned. Yes, very banned. Hard. <laughs> so old and banned that I uh, I had to read the effect because I I didn't. And I wasn't sure what it did. <laughs> like, oh, and then he hits the MST. He's opting for the back row instead of the Necro Valley, just not oh. caring. I'm assuming because end game is Jinzo. You just normal summon Jinzo, and the opponent loses. Uh. Dead Witch sighting one, passing it back. BMT. Top decking the Gravekeeper's assailant. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good curve. Well, I mean, for the time. Actually, I won't. I, I can't say for the time because I don't know what year he has. Mhm. Mm so, for all I know, that's it's a the mechanical card. chaser. Let's go. Equips it with Axe and Despair, okay. Big damage, big damage. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a... 2850, that's, that, that's a big number. That's the fire alarm. Smoke alarm, that's the one. That means something's being made in the kitchen. The tournament pack spice, that is right. Mechanical Chaser was like... Very expensive back in the day because it was the best monster that you could normal summon. Yes. I do like the for no uh, tribute. I do like the uh, lost art for Axe of Despair. It's pretty good. It looks so Nami dope. Print it. Yeah. Let me print it. Um, yeah, no, like cool. I want to have it. Bit. I honestly want to start a um a sealed lost art promo set, like collection. Because I already have three of the Exodia pieces. The other two shouldn't be that hard to get. Yeah. And I already have the head. I bought it when it was like 10 bucks. But like, you know, the harpy ones are going to be the real hard ones. Tributing the mechanic... Wait. Oh. Ba oh, okay. It was a misclick. Because it's battle yeah. and then recruiter. Yeah. Add one Gravekeeper's monster with 15. Currently or back then? I would say back then I would say 80 bucks. Now I would probably say Which with right mechanical chaser from TP1. Back then I would say $80. Nowadays, I would say by prices right rules, I would say I don't know. 150. A lot. Let me let me, let me hit that uh, TCG player while you uh, spectate the match. I'll let you know. Currently, somewhere between like 150 to 200, I would say. Uh, that your guess? 299? That's insane. Okay. Uh... 
just like vintage stuff is going up so much right now because people have so much cash because people are buying so many cards they want to invest in something that's only going to go up oh yeah that's one word Yep, that is a uh, correction. The market price is two ninety nine. What's uh, it actually listed for? As low as six fifty. To I'm. I need to look for, this quick. Let's see, for a near mint, uh, six fifty. For lightly played unlimited. Oh, these are all unlimited, of course. Uh, one eighty five is the lowest for. Lightly played, uh, Spanish near mint unlimited is two two eighty nine, and near mint unlimited for six fifty. Okay, I mean that's not that bad. If you want to play this format, I know that foreign cards are undervalued for like goat oh, stuff, so. and you don't want that. You want it all English for some reason. But like for near mint English is 650 but then if you want a light play you could pick it up for 200. i was pretty close honestly let's see yeah like tp cards are just like those old tournament packs like tournament pack turbo pack that kind of stuff is starting to get up there so like if you there's cards in there that you want get them now because eventually all of them are going to be bought out Uh, that. that being said, Kuba got an alpha uh, is a um, four dollar card for ten E players, ten E Belfort players. Uh, mm. Yeah. Tribute summons the Jinzo. Let's go, baby. If he doesn't have the warning right now, I think he just loses. Very small progression series twenty. Nice. All right. Did you get mechanical chaser, or did you get I order, imperial order, <laughs> for Jinzo? Wait, no. Imperial Order came out in Pharaoh Servant. You got Chaser, let's go! <laughs> BMT looking on the back foot. Not able to beat over these large monsters. Unless if BMT pulls something right now. Royal Tribute. It isn't gonna do much. With... Jinzo and Mechanical Tracer equipped with Mask of Dis Axe of Despair on field. Passing it back. You know, Bean Soldier. Chef's Kiss. Bean Soldier. You know, like Bean Soldier, peak. Absolutely fantastic card. This might just be game. Dead Witch might take the 2 0. Probably using Witch to play. He might want to play around. Uh... He doesn't need to play around Mirror Force because he has the Jinzo. Playing around Gores. Probably. If Gors was even out. Ah, Mirror Force is negated. Dead Witch. Taking it down. 2 0. Let me just go say it now. This was 2010 from BMT. 2010. Dead Witch was complaining like all week. Oh, I'm just going to get 2 0'd round one. I'm just going to get 2 0'd. I'm just going to lose. No. Dead Witch is moving on to the finals for our cross ban list Shadow 
game series. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next video is probably going up tomorrow. And I'm out like a broken streetlight. Peace.